Septuntąjį sezoną Lietuvos krepšinio lygoje žaidžiantis pasvalio klubas sezoną pradeda nestokodamas ambicijų ir noro peržinkti užkeikta ketvirtfinalio barjerą. Tarp sezonių smargiai pasikeitusi ekipai reikia laiko sustiguoti žaidimą ir atrasti komandos vetius, nors panašu, kad komanda savo lyderį jau rado. Po solidau sezono Italijoje gan netikėtai pasvalyje atsidūrės Emanuelis Omokbo, demonstruoja puikų žaidimą ir šiuo metu yra naudingiausias BCFLKL krepšininkas. Emanuelio pavardė šiek tiek išlindus buvo anksčiau, vasaros rinkos pradžioj, bet tikrai ta norima jų suma, vadinkim, tai tikrai mums buvo lei perkama. Ir tą pavardę šiek tiek nustumėm, žiūrėjom kitų žaidėjus pagal savo biudžetą, vėlgi vasarą einant į pabaigą, kadangi jisai pasiūlymų geresnių ar kokių tikėjusi negavo, ta kaina šiek tiek pakrito iki mūsų galimybių. Ir taip ir atsirado radare, tada tas derybos, diskusijas ir taip jis ir atsidūrė mūsų komandai. I mean, obviously, I googled about the city, and it's like, yeah, it's very little. It's just really just basketball here, so I'm like, oh. I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, like I said, like I'm just here to do my job. There ain't really much to do but basketball, <laughs> really. The league is pretty good. Like, it's expanding. Teams are really good. I feel like we're gonna be okay in the league. Just have to get it all together. Artėjančios žiemos krepšininkas nebijo. Jungtinėse valstijose jis gyveno Pensilvanijoje, kur žiemos taip pat pakankamai ačiaurios. I'm used to the cold, though. I'm from the East Coast, so it's always cold. And I went to school in Colorado, so it's snowing all the time in Colorado, so I'm used to it. Yeah, this is one of my favorite spots out here. It ain't really much spot to eat at. Lava, lava. Fun fact, y'all. I only order like three things out of here every day. Normally, me, Justin, and Lance normally come here. Three amigos. Didžiausia me Afrikos mieste Lagose gimės Emanuelis, kaip ir daugelis Nigerijos vaikų, kie menų mažiant spardė futbolo kamulį. I didn't know nothing about basketball. My dad used to talk about like Kobe and Shaq, and I would just be like, whatever, let's turn to the soccer game. Būdamas septynerių kartų su šeima, jis persikėlė į Jungtinės Amerikos valstijas, kur jau kurį laiką dirbo jotėtis. Būtent už Atlanto Emanuelis susidomėjo krepšinių, kuris iš pradžių buvo tiesiog būdas leisti laiką ir susirasti daugiau draugų. I just want to be out. I didn't want to be in the house. So I played and I started liking it a little bit more. I know I started liking America more when I started playing basketball. And things started going well because at first, like first two years, I had a little hard time. I missed my friends. Tik būdamas keturiolikos somokbo rimčiau pradėjo užsimti krepšinių, tačiau jo progresas buvo labai greitas. Po sėkmingų metų universitete Emanuelis bandė pakliūti į NBA, negavęs kvietimo ten savo profesionalo karjerą nusprendė pradėti Italijoje. 56-55, what a game! To Italy, I didn't know where I was going to be at, I, and the team, shout out to Vio Pesaro, they're doing okay in the league. They gave me the opportunity, gave me a lot of playing time for a young player, playing in Serie A against grown men. I've never really been in that kind of atmosphere, I didn't know what to expect. So like once the season progressed, I started good, slowed down a little bit, but I, know, I wanted to finish the season well and let them remember my name. Abadbo weaves his way in. Wow. Basketball is a game of like passion. You have to love it to play. Like, if you don't love it, people can tell it's gonna show. Because whatever you do on the court, it's all about next year, your next contract. And what I love about this game, you don't ever know where you're gonna be at. Like basketball is such an all-around sport. Savo krepšininko reputaciją žaidėjas sėkmingai kurie ir Lietuvoje, kur jie uspėjo pelnyti naudingiausio spalio mėnesio BCFLKL žaidėjo prizą. That's not for me. I can't do that by myself without my teammates passing me the ball. So I give all the credits to them. Because if they don't pass me the ball, I don't score. Yeah, you want to play good for yourself, but you also want to make your teammates to respect you and let them know that you're all about the team. I like to have fun, but I'm also serious about my work. Like, that's one thing my dad always tell me, your work ethic always gonna show up. The little thing, you can do the little things for a team. You don't have to shoot the last shot. You don't have to get the last rebound. It's just 
picking your teammates up. Just being good to your teammates, just talking to them, hey, everything is going to be fine, let's get, let's get to the next one. Jaunasis talentas iš Nigerijos, linksmas ir gyvenimų besidžiaugiantis žmogus, tačiau prieš porą metų jo gyvenimo sukrėtė tragediją. O mokbo tėvų namuose kilus gaisrų jūgnys pasiglimžė krepšininko tėvus, bei name kartu buvus užvos dviejų metų, kur jo pusbrolį ir pusės ar jam. Iš liepsnų ištrūkti pavyko tik Emanuelio sesirims. In extremely critical condition, there were a total of seven people inside the home when the fire started. One person jumped to safety. Junior. He's originally from Nigeria. He, along with his family, live in Hyattsville, Maryland, which is a suburb of Washington, D.C. He got a call from his sister yesterday and learned that there was a terrible fire at his home. He lost his parents. I was more hungrier when my parents passed away because obviously it's like I have brothers and sisters now. Everybody gets older. I have to kind of look out for myself and look out for them. I was forced to be an adult at a young age, basically. Nors iškart po tragiškų įvykių žaisti krepšinį buvo labai sunku, vėliau Emanuelis nusprendė, kad tai jo kelias ir tėvai būtų norėję, kad sunus eitų tokiu keliu. Tėvų atminimą krepšininkas jam žino ant savo kūno, o taip pat jų vardais vis atpapuošė savo sportinius batelius. Aš jau 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 I have tattoos for them. I have my nieces and nephew, my parents right here today. My mom's birthday, when they passed away, like I have tattoos for them and the legacy keep going on and on like this. Yeah, they're dead, but their spirit are always still with me. Yeah, my mom always said, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna see you play in TV one day. They're always watching over, like their spirit is always with me. That's one thing I know, like my faith is very strong, my faith in the Lord is strong. And every tongue that rises against me, judgment thou shalt condemn. Lord, give me a sign. For this is the heritage of the service of the Lord. And the righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Amen. Lord, give me a sign.